Oh, we, we have a vortex. We have a vortex forming. Hmm. Today I'm testing out this water pitcher, which is no ordinary water pitcher. I paid 180 bucks for this, but does it really work and is it worth the cost? Let's find out in today's video. So obviously this is no ordinary water pitcher. This one supposedly aerates water and creates a beautiful display at the same time. But 180 bucks? I don't know about that. Before I get too far though, let's flash back to the unboxing and see how that went. All right, let's take a look at the Mayu Swirl. I paid 178 bucks for this. There's a charging cube and a big cylinder. We're getting close. We're getting close. I see something. We got the base and some uh, some random literature here, a sticker of some sort, charging cable. Here we go. Well, it's intact. I'm happy about that. I feel like I'm gonna break it trying to get this out of there. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna break it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, no, really? <laughs> Is that $180 worth of material? I would say probably not. Now that the claims are that they say it creates enhanced water, it's like drinking from a flowing river. It aerates the water, letting it breathe like fine wine, balances pH, and helps remove volatile compounds. It can be plugged in, or it can run on a rechargeable battery for up to seven hours. People on Amazon who liked it, almost everyone complimented the attractive design, especially when it's running and swirling. Some people did say it improved the taste of the water. Now those who didn't like it, some people said there was no difference in taste at all, and a lot of people didn't like the price of 180 bucks. All right, so I'm gonna read this over and then get started. All right, so last night I washed it out and read over the instructions, and here's a couple additional observations. Number one, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a bunch of spots in there. You really can't get your hand in there to dry it out after you rinse it out. I, I did my best to shake out the water, but you know, it's not perfect. There is a fill line right here which is 1.5 liters and in the bottom here there is plastic piece that kind of spins and swirls the water and that's really all there is to it here's a base i did charge that last night and this will supposedly last seven hours but we don't need seven hours to see if this is worth 180 bucks or not so i think to test this one out i'm going to do two before and after tests one is the subjective taste test and one is the objective water test kit that should give us a good idea if this is doing anything at all so let me go fill this with some las vegas tap water and then get started all right, here we go. I have overfilled it a little bit because I need some extra water for my couple of tests I'm doing. I will also point out the instructions say that you need to swirl it for about five to seven minutes, but on Amazon, someone asked and they said 10 minutes. So I'll go a little longer than that just to make sure I'm doing it right. But for my first test, I'm going to be doing a taste test. I have these two glasses. I don't have a lot of matching glasses on using these. I've got these two glasses. I'm going to pour some in now, pour some in later, and then taste them side by side and see if there's any difference. So I'll fill that one later. I'm going to fill this one now and later we'll test them side by side. This is my before control glass of tap water. In addition to my taste test, I'm gonna do a water quality test kit. I'm gonna test it now before I swirl the water, but I'm gonna set that aside and show you that later so we can do that side by side as well. So let me do that and then we're gonna get back to the swirling and tasting. All right, I just did my first water quality test, which I'll show you at the end when I've done my second one, but let's do the aeration test and see how it goes. First use. And, oh wait, oh wait, we have a vortex. We have a vortex forming. Pretty cool, actually. Is it $180 cool? I'm not sure about that. Am I confident that this is going to improve the taste of the water? I'm not confident in that whatsoever, but I would love to be proven wrong. I do like the way it looks. I mean, I, if, if anything else, it looks nice. Does it look like $180 worth of attractiveness? Probably not. I should also point out that the drinking water in Las Vegas right out of the tap is not really known to be very tasty. We do recycle our water here in Las Vegas. Everything that's used here is treated and ends up back in Lake Mead. So this water probably was showering off for a tourist last week after a drunken night out, but we shall see how it tastes today. I'm gonna let this go for about maybe 20 minutes. They say five to 10. I'm going 20 to be extra careful. I'm gonna do a taste test, a water quality test, and we'll see how it goes. So I'll come back in 20 minutes and then do our taste test. All right, it's been 25 minutes, let's taste it and see if there's any difference. All right, and pour some in this glass. I'm gonna let that continue to spin while I taste. All right, here's my two glasses. Before and after, will there be a difference? We shall see. First up, the before water. Mm. 
Not a fan of Las Vegas tap water. So it has nowhere to go but up from there, right? Was there a difference? I really can't tell. Let me keep trying. You know, I'm not gonna say there's no difference. There's a very slight difference almost in texture of it. This one almost has like a hard water feel to it. This feels a little softer. Maybe it's just placebo effect, I don't know, but it does seem like it's a slight difference. Not a $180 difference, but a slight difference. I'm gonna say there may be a very slight improvement in taste, maybe, maybe a 10% improvement. Not like a vast difference, but it does seem slightly better. And it doesn't seem like it's as hard, but let me do my water quality test and see if maybe I'm just letting their marketing get to me here. One more try. Las Vegas tap water. I'm gonna say it's a little bit better. I'm not, I mean, it's not, I don't know if I'd buy this or not, but I think it's a little bit better. It tastes like a little bit better Las Vegas tap water than this one is. I keep going back to them. There is certainly a, a, a difference. There's certainly a difference. It's more of the, more of the texture. I've already drank both, almost more, all that. I'm gonna say there is a slight difference in taste. I think it's a slightly improved taste. I guess the aeration does improve the taste a little bit, but let me get my water quality test kit out and see what kind of a difference there is from my original tests. All right, so I tested it out before and after swirling and here are my results. On the left-hand side is the test I did before swirling. On the right is the one I did after. Now, it really isn't a big difference. If you look at the top three test results there, the hardness, chlorine, and alkalinity, I really don't see much of a difference there. Looking at the pH, it might be hard to see. Now, three of us here took a look at it. We all agreed that the one on the right is a little bit darker. So maybe it went from a seven to a seven and a half or a seven to even an eight. It's not significant, but it does look a little bit different. The nitrates also did not look like they changed much. At the bottom there, I also tested the copper, no difference there. I also tested the iron, not a huge difference there either. So overall, it looks like there may have been a slight change in the pH, but otherwise not a huge difference. <laughs> All right, so I keep drinking these back and forth, trying to see what kind of a difference there is. There is a slight difference in taste. It's a little bit better. This has a pretty strong tap water flavor to it. This is a subtle tap water flavor. The texture is a bit smoother on this one than this one. It's not a huge difference. It's a small difference. So if you're compelled by their marketing, then I can say that it does provide at least a moderate improvement in taste. I don't know if it's worth 180 bucks, and there's probably other ways of achieving this. But if you like what you see in their ads, then, then it might be worth a shot. But that's all I've got. If you've tried something like this, tell us what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.